Hey, good morning. It is a beautiful morning this morning here at the Moonshine Canyon Trailhead. I've got my trusty steed in the background. We're going to take about a half mile ride, maybe a little more, into the Moonshine Wash. And we're going to head down that road right there. So uh, I am excited to explore another little piece of American history, actually, this time. Moonshine Canyon was one of the hideouts for the bootleggers during the Prohibition period. Maybe we'll see some remnants of that, as well as some spectacular views in general in this canyon. We're gonna go ahead and head on out, say goodbye to the truck in my little bed, and have ourselves another grand adventure. Just dropped off the bike. The uh, little drainage here going into Moonshine Wash is getting a little steeper and uh, there was a big dry fall, so I thought that'd be a good spot to drop off the bike. So far the route has been well carried, so it's been pretty friendly and pretty. And uh, yeah, so all seems to be right on track. So we'll make our way on down here and see what we can find. Plenty of cairns to be seen. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Cause there's a nice little one right there. And another one off to the right. Cool. There's the whole scene. Pretty awesome. Wow, looks like somebody got stuck. Oh boy, looks like it's about to get interesting. I'm excited. Awesome, wow. Ooh, looks like I'll be putting away the camera for this. Straight down. Okay, cool.
straight up. We are in the depths of Moonshine Canyon and I am saying fantastic. I'm having a great time. I would say even levels of class four scrambling, zero exposure, get help, it would be no problem. So, uh, you know, do keep that in mind. Uh, here's one of those sections that was a little bit more difficult. Right there. I strongly urge you to try this if you can uh, do some difficult scrambling. Um, it was fantastic and then, even more hilariousness. Check that out. Just crazy. So we're gonna continue on and have a great time. We'll see you on the other end of this beautiful canyon. Oh my God, okay. We've got the pee pool leading to the poop chute. God help us, here we go. First crossing the shallow rocks. Alligator heads. up this slippery, slimy 
little gully chute. And behind me, I don't know if you can make out, is the, the gnarliest cow piss pool. And boy, I do not want to slide back into that. Um, it looks relatively safe, but pretty difficult. And this is slick. But we'll probably just get to the top of this and call it good. So here I am scaling the slippery gully above the cow piss pool. And God help me that I don't slide back in there. That was gnarly. Yeah, the chute to the piss pool of death was narrowly averted. So thank God for that. Um, we still have the way down, but that seems like that's gonna be a little easier. And then if we look over here, things are looking sweet again. I'm in this crazy, like, alcove. Really wild. See what's up with that. I am not going to go much further though. I don't want to go back in the sun across country, whereas I could return in these narrow canyons in the shade. And uh, rough hunting will be a non issue that way too. Wow, looks like this broke off pretty recently. It's really sharp. This is just nuts. So I came from this funky bulb room with the difficult climb out. And then we're in another trippy bulb. This crazy chokestone. I mean, wow. And it looks like one more section of the tough climbing before we kind of pop out. Maybe that's where I'll turn around. But I am enjoying the climbing. So the dreaded poop shoot, here we go. I'm just jamming my feet in like that for the best. Holy cow. Don't wear your nice shoes on this one. Oh. So yeah, the cows have been drinking and peeing. They're like crazy, grossy. But this isn't bad. It was actually harder going up. So you can see. Just jamming my feet in there. Oh. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, I'm gonna put away the camera. Wow, and say goodbye to the poop shoot. Well, I'm heading back, and that was unbelievably physical. Little section of canyon there. I was obviously planning on turning around, as I had said earlier in the video, but I was slightly disappointed at the same time that that last chokestone problem defeated me. If you're gonna get in there and try that, I think it is way doable. I think a partner assist would probably be enough. Um, and uh, if, if you didn't think you could do it even that way, you could also, if you just had some webbing, maybe 10 feet of webbing, you could sling that chokestone and create a foothold, handhold, maybe probably both, whatever you wanted, and get yourself up there. So I would bring some extra gear for uh, that section, because I'm a pretty highly experienced climber and I couldn't get it and actually I think another factor was I was unwilling to take off my backpack because those narrow spots you uh, if you push your back up against the wall and kind of do a chimney that can help too and uh, I didn't want to do that or more scuff up my pack I knew I was turning around um, again I would have rather made it but it just didn't seem worth it for the extra 10 feet so uh, I am just super happy with this trip it has been spectacular and uh, you could just do the narrows and that was the coolest part and that's pretty close to the entrance of the wash and then you get this long wide section that i showed you before you get to that really physical spot um, which i'm sure would be neat i didn't look as exciting further and then you did have to 
kind of leave the canyon and go cross country on the desert floor proper uh, in the sun and all that. So that was the main reason I, I was thinking I'd just go back in the slot and shade and cool rock. So the choice is yours, but if you think you're gonna get through that chokestone and all that, be prepared, it's gonna be tough. So we are back in the slot proper here at Moonshine Canyon and it is so nice. The cool breeze is venturing through the slot and just cooling me off and it feels great. Yeah, I am really happy to be back in here for that reason, but uh, not only that reason, it is so cool. Scary long drive out in the middle of nowhere, but incredible canyon, highly recommended. And uh, really the worst kind of stuff you're gonna find is just like this. Not too bad, a little scrambling. Got some footholds on the right there. And away we go. Okay, I wanted to give just a little chat about desert climbing and canyoning. I've been a rock climber for uh, longer than I'm gonna admit. And uh, I feel like I'm fairly accomplished. But desert rock climbing is different. Um, there's a lot more cracks and chimneys, which means you're having to put something in a crack, like twist your foot in a crack in order to get it to lock. Or in a chimney, you might actually have to uh, bridge or stem in order to stay in. Um, and then it gets even more so as you get into the, uh, into the canyoneering. And there's just a lot more pushing whether you're bridging something with just your hands, just your arms, which is called a mantle, or whether you're bridging it with just your legs, generally called a stem. Um, these climbing techniques are uh, all closely related. Canyoneering is somewhat different, and if you're a great rock climber, that doesn't mean you're a great canyoneer. Probably means you're pretty good, but not great. So I just thought I would kind of explain that uh, but it is a little different and it is a cool, new, and neat experience. Oh, look at that. There's my truck. Awesome. We are back at the truck. That was a fantastic canyon. Greatly enjoyed it. I, uh, I'd say I would generally recommend going back through the canyon again instead of doing the loop, although I, I didn't see it, so I can't be positive, but uh, the canyon section was spectacular. It was well worth the second look, going the other direction. Um, nice and cool and comfortable. Uh, fantastic trip. So I can't say enough about that. Just raced home on the bike. Um, it is a short walk, even if you don't bring a four-wheel drive. So not, a, not critical for the trailhead. Although while we're talking about drives, I will say this. Uh, it was 25 miles on a improved dirt road, still washboard rough, intimidating in my opinion. Um, but boy, huge payoff. So strongly recommend checking this scene out and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Thanks for joining.
Okay. Ooh, yeah. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>